Hey everyone, welcome back to the movie studio. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. So Hamilton just came out yesterday, and I thought it would be fun to just talk about it. And yeah, well, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, before I get started, just a couple of quick announcements. First of all, I am trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of July. So by the end of this month, by July 31st, I want to have 100 subscribers. So you can please hit that subscribe button. That would be great. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. So again, like do your usuals. If you enjoyed this video, comment and give your ratings. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so here's just some background info before I get into my re review. Although I do not know much about Hamilton, I do know some of the background of it. It is one of the most popular musicals in the world. It has some awesome cast playing in it, and the songs get so catchy in your hand, you head, you can't get them out. And, you know, Hamilton is a really popular musical, and people were, like, so excited. They're, like, posting all over social media of them watching Hamilton. Yesterday was a very popular day in Hamilton world, and unfortunately, the new series, The Babysitter's Club, got really overlooked. But don't worry, I will be reviewing each episode that I have set to watch the first episode today. And so far, I hear really good ratings on it. And after watching the trailer, it's definitely going to be something I'll enjoy. If I don't enjoy it, then... Oh well, I think I still rev will review it though. It's just something that I would really enjoy doing. Also, I considered being in a Hamilton play at school. Drama, I'm trying to shift back into it. Definitely like the musical part. I'm trying to drift away from sports because although I do enjoy doing sports, I would rather focus my time on doing something artistic. I do like running. I feel like that that's such an independent sport. It's a team sport, too, but I think you can really run at your own pace, you know. So that's cool. I would have been cast as Charles Lee, but I wasn't a Hamilton fan. I did not really feel comfortable being there. I did want, like, to let the whole thing down. I would have been cast as Charles Lee. Now that I know Hamilton more, I would definitely be a part of the play in, in the near future. Okay, so let's talk about the characters in Hamilton. So a lot of different people show up in Hamilton. I'm going to round up the top characters, though. So let's start with kind of the obvious, Alexander Hamilton. He has that really catchy theme song, and I'll to talk all about that theme song in a second. But Alexander Hamilton is this show's lead, and he is such a strong character. Uh, Alicia, his wife, is very supportive of his job and his lifestyle. And I like that couple together. I think that they work really well together. It's such a good match. And I'm really excited to see where that goes in the near future. I think that that will be a lot of fun to talk about. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, Angelica Schuyler is Elisa's sister, and she has definitely a good role. And she is in love with Alexander, which I think is the inter is an interesting plot. Because I feel like there's a lot of cases where the sister go out, goes after the same guy. I feel like it was really interesting to see that played through song and... You know, I don't know, I, because the sisters have such a good bond, I feel like, um, I don't know. But Aaron Burr is the narrator of the story, and Alexander is front of me, and then very, various presidents show up in it. George Washington, James Madison, and Thomas Jefferson all show up in Hamilton. Okay, so my favorite musical numbers include... Sorry, I had to get a little sip of water there. So the opening number, Alexander Hamilton, is by far the best song in the thing. It's so catchy. It really gets the musical off to a great start. I loved it. Definitely my favorite song. Uh, the Skylar Sisters song was also really good. I feel like I love the Skylar Sisters bond so much that they made a song of it, which they did. I'm gonna like it, and I really did enjoy that too. Such a fun and catchy song. Uh, Stay Alive is also a really good song. The Wedding thing. I really enjoyed that. That would be enough with Alicia and um, Hamilton, Alexander, Alexander Hamilton. That was, I think that was a very, very powerful song. And Burn is probably the most independent song in the play. It shows how Alicia really feels about her relationship with Hamilton. Um, and then Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story is very, it's definitely clear that that is a really good song because it is the closing number and the closing number was like so powerful at the end. I really did. I really did enjoy the film and people have been saying is two hours and 40 minutes long time. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to give some musical awards and then talk about other things about the musical. So my favorite musical number is Alexander Hamilton. Um, favorite characters are Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Favorite couple is Hamilton and Alicia, 
And my overall grade, I gave it an A. It was a really, really good musical. I really did enjoy it. So, uh, just talk, gonna talk a couple of minutes about other random things. So, do I think that the play is long? Two hours and 40 minutes? Maybe a tiny bit. I feel like maybe it could have been a little bit shorter. But overall, it was like, even though it was pretty long to sit through, it had to do many pauses, the overall theme was enjoyable. I enjoyed each and every song. Some of them I enjoy more than others because I did give my favorites right there. But I thought it was a, it really was a lot of fun just to talk, just to listen, watch all of them. And then, yeah. So that is my opinions on the musical numbers. I really enjoy the story behind Hamilton. It's such a powerful musical. It has a really good plot. And um, I hope that you guys go check it out. Disney Plus has been coming with some great stuff lately. And I'm going to be talking all about the little Disney Plus things along with Netflix, HBO Max, and all that kind of stuff. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to be doing a probably like August 1st, I think I have set for it, a TV movie recap June and July. And there are a lot of June and July releases. So just a summer of 2020 recap. I think that that will be a lot of fun to be able to sort out each of them. And yeah, so again, please comment down below what you think about Hamilton. I thought that, that was such a powerful musical. And this, I like how they put it on Disney Plus. I think that this is just the right time to post it. It's 4th of July weekend. Today is 4th of July. I hope your guys' 4th of July is all going well. Today, I'm going to be watching the first episode of the Babysitter's Club Netflix series. And I'll probably do my first review today. Uh, I am recording this. I am recording this Friday night, but I... Um, it's really late right now. Anyways, I should probably get going. Anyways, again, I'm trying to reach a goal of hitting um, to 100 subscribers, not 200. 100 subscribers by the end of July. 200 is not really a reasonable goal. So anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching the studio. I want you to stay tuned for more videos to come. Like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications so you never miss a video. And bye.